So one of the world box developers, Mastiff, reached out and was telling me that people need a Steam Workshop tutorial. And so obviously I was like, ooh, I'll get right on that today. So class, the first thing you need to do is go to Steam. Big shocker there, right? So we're on Steam. So if you have the game, you're gonna wanna go to your library and basically just find the game. If you don't have Steam, I don't think you can access Steam Workshop. I don't think. I'm no expert by any means, but. So just click on the game. Steam will always have some weird homepage for it. And then below the play button, you'll see all these tabs. And right here, you'll see Workshop. So to the right of guides and to the left of support. So you click that, it takes you to this screen, World Box God Simulator, so you know you're right in the right game. And literally you're in here. So you can see what this tab, it's called Workshop. Otherwise, there's discussion, screenshots, artwork, broadcast, videos, news, guides, and reviews. But obviously, if you're just wanting to download things, you don't need any of that. And so this is just telling you about the game. Here will be your profile. And then this is just showing some highlights. All you gotta do is scroll down. And then so literally below this, you'll find the most popular, most subscribed, and most recent. And these are all things that you can download. So I think it's only maps right now. I'm assuming mods will come soon, I think. You can click see all, it'll take you to here. Or you can see even more. <laughs> you can even get The Rock eating some yummy pancake act. Or you can get Astral, what? The sexiest man alive. <laughs> so, as you can see, I already have the Rickroll right here. If you saw my yesterday's video, that's what I used. You can see how I have a little check mark, so that's what it's gonna show when you have it. So any one of these that you want, you literally just click on it, and then it'll give you another little preview of it, as well as comments on it about what people said. Your Grande Gaming, it does look like Paradox. People are commenting on it. I don't know what people are talking about, but in order to download it, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. You're not subscribing to some like email thing. It literally, just the subscribe means download. That's literally it. So you just click that. Now you'll see how it kind of loaded. It says I'm subscribed. If I hover over it, you can unsubscribe. And it says this item has been added to your subscriptions. Some games will require you to relaunch them before the item will be downloaded, which is a key point. So if it doesn't show up, just reload your game. It should be there. And it's doing it all automatically for you. So now you have that. If you want to go back, you can just click the back arrow and then you're back and you can download as many as you want. So now go ahead and click the big play button and actually load it up world box loading i like the santa hat they added go ahead and close out of this just go into the game in order to access it in the game you're not going to find it in your saved worlds it's not in this little thing it's not anywhere in here and it's not going to be in any of the other tabs so you have to click the red arrow to kind of go to like the home tab i don't know what this tab is called you know if you scroll right there's a there's a little wolf but it's the big button that says steam on it <laughs> steam workshop <laughs> There's a big steam icon, says steam workshop, share your maps with your friends in the, in the world or whatever. Click on that. This little menu will come up, which kind of has a lot to look at, but it's just an image showing world box and some construction dwarves. <laughs> Got a little wizard you can hit and then all these things. None of that really matters. Description, browse. Don't forget to subscribe to some worlds via steam itself first and upload. After uploading, you can edit information about your world through steam itself. So this is where you're going to want to go if you can, if you're going to upload a world and then in order to access the ones that you subscribe to, you click on browse worlds and they should come up so i'm subscribed to the rickroll map as well as the dragon world from startup i don't know why that's the name but <laughs> it's downloaded and then from here you can even open workshop which it will just take you back to that same thing on steam that i was pointing out earlier if you just want to load one of them up you just choose it you just click on it it'll tell you some information about the world and then there's a cool little animation that i didn't notice before what <laughs> Here's the description, it's just a Rick rule, what do you expect? Pretty much none of this you really need to pay attention to unless you have a potato PC that you like, you want to make sure it's the right size and everything before you load it up and crash. All you have to do is click play this world, and then it's going to warn you that your current world's going to be lost. If you don't care, just click load, it's going to reload the game, and there we go. <laughs> now we got the Rick roll map or whatever. So I'm going to create a new world. Okay, so this is the world I want to upload. <laughs> All I have to do is go to Steam Workshop, upload world. It's gonna give me my little pe preview of Pad. Oh, I can name it. Pad. Description, it's the legend himself, Pad. And there we go, pretty much. Upload this world. And it's just gonna upload it, really simply like that with this dope animation. <laughs> oh, and here we go. It just literally just automatically took me to Steam and it's showing me it. So you could download it off of here if you wanted to, I don't know why anybody would. But here you go. Then there's all sorts of owner controls, edit title and description, edit image, add remove contributors, edit links, allow comments. So there's all sorts of things you can do and it's all through the workshop tab. Again, if you wanna access it, just click on world box in your library and it will be on this tab here, right underneath player stop, depending on if you already have the game loaded in. It's right here, workshop. Another way of finding it is going to your community tab and going down to workshop. So here you're gonna find all sorts of games that are wanting their workshop to be seen kind of thing Browse all workshops and then you can just search it up 
world box world box god simulator it's gonna come up you click it and here we go we're back in the same world box workshop that we were in before or we could even get the Rick roll. <laughs> I hope this was useful. I hope Mastiff is satisfied. I hope all of you guys are able to get Rick roll maps now and whatever else you want.